Hey everybody, welcome to Bend with Brie. Today we're gonna to be doing a daily front splits flow. So a flow you can do every single day to increase your front splits or do several times a week. We're gonna start in a forward fold here, just holding opposite elbows, rocking back and forth. Knees bent, you can bend one knee, then the other, just taking it really gentle here. Just kind of coming into our bodies. So what I want you to do now is drop down to sit on your heels. Come to standing, kneeling, and then you're gonna bring one foot forward into a low lunge. You're gonna bring your hands in front of you and twist to the side. Twist, forward, twist, forward, twist, forward, twist, forward, twist, forward, twist, forward, twist, forward. Bring your hands to the mat and I want you to come back into a half split, low lunge. Half split, low lunge. This is one of the best exercises you can do to get your front splits. So rocking back and forth here. And I want you to hold in your half split and go ahead and make some spinal waves. Your hands will be on the floor and you're just gonna wave your spine up and down, coming closer to your leg and then with a flat back. Just waving here. Now we're gonna come into a little bit of a different hamstring stretch. So I want you to sit back onto your glute and fold forward. Just holding here in this forward fold. If you're a little bit more flexible, you can bring your hands in front of your foot in a clasp and then come back into a low lunge here. So we're gonna come into a runner's lunge, lifting your knee. And we're gonna do some drops here. So drop your knee and lift, drop. Lift, drop, 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 lift. Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna bring your foot to the side of your mat and you're gonna bring your roll to the side of your foot and then bring it to center. Roll to the side of your foot, flat, side, Flat, just getting into our inner thigh here. Side, flat. Now we're gonna come into a little bit of a flow. Drop to your elbows, hands, foot in, out. Half split, low lunge, runner's lunge. Foot in, out. Elbows, in, out. Half split. Low lunge, runner's lunge. Foot in, out. Elbows, hands, foot in, out. Half split, low lunge, runner's lunge, elbows, foot in out, half split, low lunge, runner's lunge, foot in out, elbows, hands, half split, and hold for a second here. Now bring your foot back to center in that runner's lunge, drop your knee and come into a half split, Low lunge, runner's lunge. Half split, low lunge, runner's lunge. All about the active flexibility with front splits. Half split. Now I'm gonna show you two ways to get into your front splits. The first is gonna be similar to our hamstring stretch. We're gonna sit back on our glute into a forward fold. Your back leg is gonna be close to your front leg here. Then to progress, you can bring your leg so the knee is directly opposite your hip, so 50 degree angle not 50 degree angle, but 50% of the way there. Now bring your foot to about 75% of the way there. So your knee's still gonna be bent behind your hip. And then if you're comfortable, you can now fully extend that back leg into a front split. So you're gonna see me holding my hips here. That's because I'm trying to remind myself to bring myself to center. So your hips wanna be facing the front of your mat. That's extremely important. It's better to, to hold yourself up a little bit or be at that 75% of the way there than to have your body angled to the side. We're gonna be here for two minutes. I started the timer already. I'm gonna give you some options here. You can just hold, you can do a back bend, twist to one side, then the other. Just some things to play with here. And then bring your hands to the mat. I would encourage you to try this one. Just rocking from side to side, hitting some different angles. Now hold on one side. Now hold back on the other. You can fold over that front leg here. 
working deep, deep into the hamstring. To get into the quad, you can lift and lower that back leg. This is always super difficult for me. My quads are tight. You can reach around for that back foot and a deep quad opener. I let go of that quad stretch for those who were following that. I'm just holding here and relaxing. Come back up, swing your back leg around. And I'm gonna show you the second way to get into your front splits. So come into a low lunge, half split, low lunge. So we're gonna do that motion again, but this time we're gonna bring our front foot forward more and more. So still bending from a low lunge to a half split, but we're gonna to continue to bring that foot forward till we're super close in our front splits, then drop into a front split. So we're just gonna hold here for a second, not another two minute hold. You can swing that back leg forward, just give your legs a little massage, shake them out. Give your feet point and flex, give your feet some love. Ankle rolls. Perfect. So you're gonna come back to the back of your mat here. I'm gonna take a quick cat cow before coming up to standing kneeling and bringing that opposite foot forward into a low lunge. So we're gonna repeat what we did on the other side. So twist, hands in front of you, twist, center, 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 twist, center. Bring your hands to the mat, come into a hamstring stretch, forward fold. I mean, not forward fold, sorry, low lunge. Hamstring stretch, low lunge, hamstring stretch, low lunge, hamstring stretch. Now you can come into those spinal waves here, waving your spine up and down on that front extended leg, foot flexed. That foot flex will really help get into your calf. Now sit all the way back, come into that one leg forward fold. Breathing here. If it's in your practice, you can bring your hands in front of your foot and make a clasp there. Awesome. So come back into that low lunge then up into a runner's lunge, and you're gonna do those knee drops. So lower, lift, 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 lower, lift. Now, um, this will give you a better angle too, so you're gonna bring your foot to the side of your foot and then back to flat foot. So getting into the side of the hip here. Out, in, out, in. We're gonna come into that funky flow. Drop to your elbows, hands, foot in, out. Hamstring stretch, low lunge, runner's lunge, in, out. Elbows, hands, in, out. Hamstring stretch, low lunge, runner's lunge, in, out. Elbows, hands, in, out. Hamstring stretch, low lunge, runner's lunge, in, out, elbows, hands, in, out, hamstring stretch. Now you're going to bring your foot to center and we're going to come into that second flow. So hamstring stretch, low lunge, runner's lunge, hamstring stretch, low lunge, runner's lunge, hamstring stretch. This will get deep into everything you need for your front splits, your hips, your hamstrings. Hamstring stretch. Now we're gonna come into both variations of the front split. So starting with the one where your knee is close to your extended front leg, you just come into a gentle forward fold here. Then you can bring your foot to 50% of the way. Then to 75%. And then if you're ready for it, and only if you feel comfortable here, 
go ahead and fully extend that back leg into a front split, doing what you can to make sure your hips are facing forward. Again, it's not worth sacrificing form to say that you got your front splits. It's much, much better to hold yourself back just a little bit to get that form down. So some options here, you can take a twist to one side and then the other. I really like this variation of a front split. Back bend. You can rock side to side here. This is a variation I definitely recommend if you're in your front splits. Change of the angle is really important. So you're gonna hold on one side. Then bring your hands behind you, hold on the other. And then you can come into that fold over your front leg, deep, deep into the hamstring. And you can do those back leg lifts for the quad. So lower, lift, lower, lift. This wasn't a good time to me, but I definitely felt it. You can do that quad stretch where you hold the back foot with your hand. Really funky kind of variation here of a front split. I like this one after a workout because I'm nice and warm and it kind of stretches every single leg muscle as you can probably imagine or are feeling right now. Just holding, remember we scheduled this for two minutes on the front split holds. Come back up to standing and then bring your foot to the back and we're gonna come to that second variation. So come into your low lunge, hamstring stretch and I want you to continue with that low lunge, hamstring stretch, bringing your foot forward more and more I will do a flow here soon and let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in it, but showing some modifications for front splits if you're not quite there. So using blocks, straps, things like that. So come into your front split, just a brief hold here since we already did two full minutes. Awesome, now swing your leg to the back. We're gonna do a little bit of cooling down. So bring your hands over your head, hands to heart. Great job. Thinking yourself. Now what I want you to do is we're going to do some leg swings. So you're going to bring your right foot forward, slide it through the front split, and then swing it to the back. Then bring your left foot forward, swing it to the back. I'm showing this on screen. Right leg forward, swing it to the back. If you're not quite in your front split, feel free to do this in a low lunge or half split. Slide into a front split, leg to the back. This is really, really good for increasing your front splits, the act of stretching. You can go faster than me. You can go slower than me. The important thing here is to have good form and be safe when you're doing these kind of stretches. You don't want to pull anything, tear anything, strain anything. It's probably uncomfortable, but you shouldn't feel any pain, especially any kind of sharp shooting pains. We're just going side to side here. Front split, elbows, swing it to the back. You can come onto your elbows or you can stay on your hands when you're swinging your legs back. Almost done here, keep going. Awesome. Now just go ahead and lie on your belly for a second. For me, it felt good just to swing my legs if it's better to just relax, maybe rock your hips side to side. Just take a moment for yourself. That was a deep stretch for sure. Come into a child's pose. You can bring your hands together, bend at the elbows for a little bit of a tricep stretch. I came into a quick puppy pose here. Sometimes my back gets really tight when it's not even, I'm not even stretching my back, but my back gets tight very easily, so puppy pose always feels good. So go ahead and sit back on your heels, and we're gonna do some spinal circles. You can bring your head into it, as I'm showing here. Don't overthink it. Switch directions. Go as fast or as slow as you want. Round and arch the back. Now swing your legs forward into an easy pose. Hands above the head, hands to your heart. Take a twist to one side, twist to the other side. 
swing your head to one direction, bring that hand to the ear and hold to the other side, just getting into the neck just a little bit, often neglected. Now fold forward into a fold over easy pose. Have a great day, guys. Stay as long as you want in that pose, and I'll see you next time. Good job.